Today's drug is Tramadol. Brand names Ultram, Conzip, and Adolo. Therapeutic category is that it's an analgesic opioid. Dosage form and strength. Tramadol comes in a tablet, a 50 mg and 100 mg tablet. It comes in an extended release tablet in 100, 200, and 300 mg. And it comes in a solution with a concentration of 5 mg per 1 ml. And it also comes in an extended release capsule in a 100, 150, 200, and 300 mg strength. The indication is for pain management. The immediate release and extended release tablets are used to manage chronic severe pain when alternative options are inadequate. Tramadol is reserved for when non-opioid alternatives are not tolerated or ineffective. It's important to note that extended release tramadol is not indicated for as needed use and the lowest effective dose is generally used when treating pain. Some off-label indications are for premature ejaculation and restless leg syndrome, or RLS. Dosing by indications. For pain management that is considered moderate to severe in adults. For acute pain, initiate 50 mg by mouth every 4 to 6 hours as needed. Alternate dosing is 25 to 50 mg by mouth 3 times a day. Max dosing is between 50 and 100 mg by mouth every 4 to 6 hours with a max of 400 mg per day. For treating chronic pain, for the immediate release tablet, it's initiated between 25 to 50 mg every day as needed. When treating chronic pain, immediate release tablets are initiated between 25 and 50 mg every 6 hours as needed at typically less than 300 mg per day. If required, dose increase up to 50 to 100 mg by mouth every 4 to 6 hours with a max of 400 mg per day. When using extended release tablets to treat chronic pain, initiate at 100 mg by mouth every day and may increase up to 100 mg a day every 5 days up to 300 mg per day. For off-label uses, premature ejaculation, dosing is typically between 25 to 50 mg 1 to 3 hours prior to sexual activity. When treating restless leg syndrome, the dosing is between 50 and 100 mg at bedtime. In pediatrics, for pain management that is considered moderate to severe, there is limited data, so make sure to refer to the most current literature. When treating acute pain for pediatrics between the age of 4 and less than or equal to 16 years of age, the weight-based dosing is between 1 to 2 mg per kilogram per dose every 4 to 6 hours. In adolescents greater than or equal to 17 years of age, the dose range is between 25 to 100 mg every 4 to 6 hours, titrating every 3 days up to the lowest effective dose. The max dose is 400 mg per day. When treating chronic pain in pediatrics, for adolescents greater than or equal to 18 years of age, 100 mg every day, titrating every 5 days up to the lowest effective dose, max of 300 mg per day. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Tramadol, as both the drug and as the active metabolite, binds to the mu opioid receptor. By binding to the mu opioid receptor, this blocks the ascending pain pathways as well as altering the response and perception to pain. Tramadol also blocks reuptake of both serotonin and norepinephrine, which plays an important role in the descending inhibitory pain pathway. Tramadol is metabolized extensively hepatically via the CYP3A4 and CYP2D6 pathway. The CYP2D6 pathway results in an active metabolite, or M1. Tramadol is excreted in the urine with 30% unchanged drug and 60% as the metabolite. The onset of action for the immediate release formulation is within one hour, with a peak effect between two to three hours. The half-life elimination for the immediate release form is around six hours, with the active metabolite, M1, being around seven hours. 
The extended release formulation is between 8 to 10 hours, while the metabolite is between 9 and 11 hours. Tramadol is poorly protein-bound at around 20% in the plasma. Special Populations and Considerations In patients with renal impairment, the excretion is decreased. In patients with hepatic impairment, the AUC is increased while the elimination half-life is also increased. In the elderly, the serum concentration is increased as well as the elimination half-life is increased. And for a gender consideration, women have 12% higher peak concentrations and 35% higher AUC when compared to men. In patients that are poor metabolizers of tramadol, there is an increased concentration of drug at around 20% and a decrease in the formation of the metabolite by about 40%. Regarding the discontinuation of therapy, a gradual taper down is recommended to minimize withdrawal. Side effects Some general side effects are nausea, vomiting, constipation, lightheadedness, dizziness, drowsiness, and headache. A major concern of tramadol is serotonin syndrome. This can be identified by witnessing agitation, abnormal heartbeat, and severe nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Another concern is for QT prolongation. And another concern is in pregnancy. This medication does cross the placenta. Tramadol is not commonly used to treat pain during pregnancy. Tramadol has numerous black box warnings. The first is for addiction, abuse, and misuse. Addiction can lead to overdose, which may lead to death. The next black box warning is for the risk of medication errors. The next black box warning is for the risk of medication errors. Milligram and milliliter can get confused with prescribing, dispensing, and administering the solution. The next black box warning is for life-threatening respiratory depression. Serious, fatal, and life-threatening respiratory depression may cause death. Another black box warning is for accidental ingestion. This can be fatal in children. The next black box warning is in ultra-rapid metabolizers, which is seen in children. So this is seen specifically in the CYP2D6 polymorphism. Use should be avoided in children less than 12 as well as less than 18 years of age because there may be an increased sensitivity. Some of the other black box warnings are for opioid analgesic REMS, interactions with drugs affecting the CYP-P450 isoenzymes, and neonatal opioid withdrawal syndrome when there is use during pregnancy as well as the use with benzodiazepines or other CNS depressants. Drug Interactions Some of the general interactions are in MAOIs. Drug Interactions Some of the general interactions are with MAOIs, mixed opioid agonists and antagonists, amphetamines, anticholinergic agents and other CNS depressants, serotonin-affecting substances such as antiemetics and antidepressants, CYP2D6 inhibitors, CYP2D6 inducers, CYP3A4 inducers, and CYP3A4 inhibitors, as well as hypoglycemia-associated agents. Monitoring parameters. Level of pain relief, respiratory status, EKG and heart rate, bowel function, suicidal behavior and ideation, addiction, abuse, and misuse, as well as pregnancy. Patient counseling information. Tramadol is used to ease pain. Generally, minor side effects are experienced, such as dizziness, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, as well as headache.